Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Welcome back to MLB The Show. We got five games left in the regular season before all is said and done. I think we might have won the division. I didn't look at the standings. Well, definitely, if we win these next two games, we will win the division because we're playing the Diamondbacks, Tuesday the number two team in the division. In in fact, I think if you look at the standings, I, I'm pretty sure we won the division. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. Well, maybe technically we might have to win one. Is that a competition to see who can reach the bat out the farthest? Tug Dick's been a little bit cold of hitting of late. But he's still got the best batting average in the National League. the bump for game two of the series. What's your take on him, H? Well, Matt, he's getting close to 200 innings, so I want to see what's his stuff look like. Because when you get to that 200 barrier, that's when guys start to have fatigue set in. The stuff's not as electric. The fastball doesn't explode. The breaking ball doesn't snap. He's moving to that range now. So I'm look at that. Tug Dick, 384. Though his average has dropped a lot from when he was hitting 400. He's still number one in the National League. We got a runner on second. Top of the first. Here comes the first pitch. Popped up. Calling oh. Goldschmidt, two gone. Damn it. That did a whole lot of nothing. Crap. And here's now the visiting Stanford. Well, Matt, this lineup's been scuffing from top to bottom. You don't see it very often, but they need a spark. One guy to step up, get hot. And bottom of the first, tied ball game. They're really struggling. That's lifted the other way out to left. Moving under it, Dick. Yes. Got it one away. I really wish we could win the last five games and get 200 wins. I know that isn't super important, but it would be cool. Who are you focused on? Well, you've really got to be able to appreciate the incredible talent of Paul Goldschmidt. He's got an on-base percentage of over 400 coming in. Man, Goldschmidt. That's a damn good player. He's got the third most home runs in the National League, apparently. Let's play back a little bit, just in case. Oh, he's getting an off-speed pitch, though. Fly ball out to straight away left. That's right, Dick is there. Is there and they breeze through this half inning as the side is retired. Diamondbacks down in order. We are still scoreless. Oh, not Dick Moss. Oh. He's like, oh, I hate it when I get a case of the Dick Moss. Bottom of the second tied ball game. In the two forties. Martin this one in the air out to left. Hey, at least they're keeping Tug Big Tug Big. Tug Dick busy out here. Without much problem for the second out. Listen to those boos. Tug Dick comes into this. Diamondbacks not big fans of Tug Dick. Uh runner on second, top of the fourth, no outs. First delivery to him on the Come on, let that be our pitch. Hard, the oh, are you kidding me? And that's taken in straight away right. Will he well, the runner's going to advance to third on that. And he'll I'm so angry right now because Tug Dick has had a lot of good contacts like that of late that are two people. Here's Mark Trumbo now. He's but the important thing is we are up 2-0 against the division opponent. Runner on first, bottom of the fourth. Here's the pitch. One out. Hold high in the air out to left field. Dick is there. Two down. Yeah, you better run to first. You're scared, first, coward. Twice about trying to move up. Striding in once again, Martin Prado. Over one for him here in this one. Runner on first, bottom of the fourth, two outs. We're still enjoying that 2-0 lead. Enjoy it. Hit in the air out toward left. Easy catch. Dick will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Some of our nation's young I don't know if they can do it, Stein Holder. Yikes. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Yeah, I'm enjoying our 2-0 lead after four innings. It'd be nice if we could build on that a little bit. Tug Dick hope for two. In once again. Tug Dick. No hits in Top of the six. Come on, Dicklicious. We gotta get you some hits, son. You gotta quit hitting it right at people. And that's inside for a ball. 1-0. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound, but the deeper you get into the game, the more the hitters have seen you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. 
I like when he says seen you. I mean, obviously, he means pitches, not just, oh, I see you over there. I see you there, too. Little dribbler down the line. Home run. Gets foul. 1-1 one, one count. Pitch on the way. One one is a cutter that Alright, two one count. Yeah, if you get a guy Oh, Candy's not looking like at the that. signs back there. You're gonna go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. Then he just prove he could lay off of it by not swinging at it right there? Is that what you're saying? He set and the two one pitch. Outside. Wanted to go after the slider, but he three one. Three and one. Come on, you gotta throw the dick mice just something to hit here. He needs to get a hit. He's feeling sad. He's not hitting a hit in a while. Yeah, there we go. Right up the middle. Patience pays off. Thank God. Sometimes those dry spells feel like they're going to last forever. He's like, Pitcher, I heard you like it up the middle hard. Awesome. Technic would boo with the fans, I would think. Boo! Here's the first baseman, Brandon Moss. Oh my god, did you get a hit, you turd burglar? We might not make it. No. <laughs> I don't even care. Technic's like, fuck you, boss. All the times you screwed me. How you like that one? Mochi's like, what are you doing? Technic won for three. We're up 2 0. Here comes the first pitch. Swing and he pops him up well, over toward foul territory. And maybe he's trying to hurt Moss there because he hit it backwards towards him. The wind oh, one count. The oh one. And that one stayed too low apparently. Bases are empty, one man out. Man, a lot of booing going on in this park. That was definitely low. And he takes oh, ball man. two and it's two and one. See, look, there's some good play discipline. Hello, tiny humans in the stands. Uh, the catcher went uh, down and they got him to chase it two, for two. strike two. I like how he's mixing up the fastball and the changeup right there. That's how we got the two and two count. I think he comes back with a changeup here. Come on, please air. fucking go. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Damn it. Well, that didn't help at all. Aaron Hill comes to the plate. We still got a two-run lead, though. Bottom of the eighth. One and two. Here it comes. Swing and a looper to left. Come on, you got it, Carrera. Or Wolverine, sorry. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Tug Dick, one for four. He eats your delicious booze. Diamondback fans. Runners on first and second, top of the ninth. We got a four run lead. Nobody moving? Would have been tough to advance on that. Catch did a good job. 1 0 count. Here it comes, 1 0. And here's a I cannot believe that. Goldschmidt so he's going to the stand. It's not going to go to the stands. Somebody punch him. And the <laughs> inning is over. Damn it. So two runs on three hits. Hey, we got a four-run lead. We just need three outs, and we clinch the division if we haven't already. We've clinched the division, y'all. Hard to win in this game. Especially on the road, but they Hugs. find a way to get it done, and they should be very division champions 2017. The San Francisco Giants win for the 96th time, most in the division. Jose Quintana. Not only that, but we still have a small chance if we win the rest of our games, we'll win up 100 games. So we got a small chance to get to 100. Gross, man. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, Dan Pleszak, and our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. Let's play another. Final line score this afternoon. Last game against the Diamondbacks in the regular season. Because, like I've said before, we might meet them in the playoffs. It's hot, hot, hot. Today, getaway day here in this three-game series between the San Francisco Giants and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Major League Baseball on MLB Network is next.
Look at all the fans that have come out to this game, which makes sense. It's a good division opponent matchup. One, number one and number two team in the division. Diamondbacks are still playing for a playoff spot, too. Trying to get the wild card. Tugnick hitting 382. Top of the first two outs. Too many runs he's given up. And he's just not given his team a chance to even get out the gate and win the game. Well, Harold Reynolds, these Diamondbacks, as they begin play, fair to say they're not playing their best baseball right now. Losers of five of their last six. You hear that? They think you're losers. Uh, the ump kind of helped us out on that last call. Everybody wants to play good baseball in front of your home team, and they just haven't done that. So the win today is very important. Now with the 2-0 count and the power at the plate, it could be fireworks time. This is the kind of count he makes his money in. From the really? He's not really a power game. hitter. Oh, right back <laughs> to him on the mound. And he'll flip it See? <laughs> that was a power swing. Just kind of busted off the ground into the guy's glove. What's up, girl? D-backs coming up on MLB Network. Tied ball game. Still pretty early, though. Catcher now, Miguel Montero. He's got that average up over the 290 mark to begin play. Miguel Montero. If you're a woman, would you be Shigal Montero? No. Alright. We are down by a run, unfortunately, bottom of the second. How dare you? Diamondbacks, you're getting in the way of our 100 wins. Straight away left. Dick moves over. And he holds nice catch. for the first out of the inning. All right, time for majestic defensive alignment. For I wish you could draw a face on that baseball there. The best defensive teams in the league. They're in the top five in fielding percentage. Not many balls get through here. You're gonna have to earn it if you want to beat these guys. Our outfield has been pretty consistent this season. We've not seen much change in that since the first or second month of the season. Hey, Cliff Pennington, why don't you get your butler out here to hit for you? Bottom of the second, we're still down by a run. And now the second uh -oh. pitch is swung on and hit in the air. Oh, no problem for Dick. And he will I guess I was a little more worried about it than I needed to be. Tug Dick 0 for 1. Alright, we got a runner in a second. No outs. We're down by a run still though, unfortunately. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And a curveball that gets a swing and a miss and makes Come on, Tug, we just need a hit. He's been pretty clutch this season. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side uh, as the count will move to 0 and 2 now. Souvenir for the fans. Ooh, somebody's whistling sexy. This one's flared toward Yeah, that's not gonna do much of anything. Trying to get there. He tracks it I'm sorry I failed you, Pence. Forgive the dick. Away. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Yeah, it was a nice catch. Oh, this should have collided and got hurt. <laughs> Mark Trumbo coming to the plate. Mark Trumbo. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Oh, we're still down by two runs. At least this early. It's only the bottom of the third. Nobody on. One out. This is hit high in the air out to left field. Dick is after it. He's got it. Keeping Dick nice busy out there. there. Two away. I guess it's good to have a busy Dick, if you know what I mean. Tug Dick 0 for 2. Coming to the plate. Tug Dick. He'll stand in against Trevor Cahill to get the inning underway. He's like, what are y'all booing for? On its way. And here's a sinker that had a little bit too much dart to it there as it just about came in and nailed him. Well, he's still out there to start the fifth inning, but it's been a real grind of a start for him. We, oh wait, we have the lead. We're up by a run now. I totally missed that. It's hard to imagine him working. Yes, we're up 5-4. This game. With. Tried to get the arms extended, but he couldn't one and one. That's the perfect pitch after you've just brushed a guy back. The hitter probably isn't sitting up there thinking you're going to flip something soft up there. Uh, two one count. Ball, two and one. Well, it's two and one now, and we haven't seen a fastball from him in this at bat yet. As a hitter, you've probably got to sit on that right now. Are you sure about that? All right, I'll sit on it. On its way is pitch number seventy-five. 
Fuck it, I'm, last time I'm listening to the announcer, I didn't think it was gonna be a fastball, but he's like, gotta sit on it, okay, there's a change up low in the zone. 2-2 count. How can go back to that change up? And that's oh, that was a good change up low. Dropped out of the zone. Care of the National League's leading hitter, and there's one away. It's fair to say that early on, at least, the runs have come in bunches here this afternoon. A high-scoring affair thus far, and we're only in the fifth inning. I like that angle. Hopefully, we can keep building um, on our lead. Bottom of the fifth, we got a one-run lead. Second baseman. Uh oh. And he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Dick ranging back. That one is out of here. Could not this get it. Damn you, Diamondbacks. How, how dare you try and deny us a our road to 100 wins? We're getting greedy and we deserve to be. As we are all tied at five. That lady is either like, I want a cabbage patch, or she's the world's worst, worst boxer. Every call is going to go your way, and there are some pitchers that pitchers think are pitchers' pitches, and you don't get that, and it puts you in a bad spot. And you could tell that it affected him. He was fuming, and he really wanted that last pitch. And the result, he lost focus and made another bad pitch. Ready now, Tug Dick. Yeah, Tug Dick, 0 for 3. Come on, Tug Dick. Ooh, we're down by two runs, top of the eighth. We all kind of expect him to pick up two or three hits most of the time. That's not really how baseball works, though. Yeah, he's having a. He's not having a terrible time, but like the last four games, he's been hitting a lot worse than he has been for most of the year. I'm set with the 0 and 1. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. You know, he's one of their guys they rely on to get their offense going. They need a rally, so we'll see if he can spark one here. Well, it'd be nice if we could get a hit and get something going. We're only two runs down. Starting to run out of outs though. Fastball, not close, and he runs it to two balls and a strike. I'll take a walk. You can walk that dick any day of the week. And that changeup didn't tempt anybody and misses for ball three. Yeah, well, down two. You better believe they gladly take a leadoff walk. Right All right, 3 1 count. They got to give us something to hit here. I can't think they'd want to walk the best guy at stealing bases in the league. Not in the only in the league, but in the history of the major leagues. Yeah, the guy's been on fire lately, hitting anything close. So I think this is the way to go here. Get the bat out of his hands any way that you can. Brandon Moss coming to the plate. Ready once again, Brandon Moss. We're going to try and steal second. To this point in the ball game. Maybe Dick shouldn't have yelled that so loud. <laughs> what do you expect, dude? You just walked the best base dealer in the game. Of course he's going to try and get the scoring position. And yet another throw over. And a dive, but he's back. I don't know, that might have been a little late. Luckily, it was a really bad throw. Well, they threw over there multiple times thinking he was going to try to swipe. All right, we got a runner in scoring position. Ump's like Peter Pan in it there. So is Dick. Nice job of base running there. Five runs, seven hits, and no errors on the giant ledger to this point. We're going to push it. And now the runner's trying for third. Pitch inside the throw. Safe. That was a little closer than I wanted it to be. There we go. No outs. Ready with the 1-1 one, one pitch. Come on, Moss. Just hit into play. Let's get that run in. Moss represents the tying run. The 1-2 and two pitch. Oh, we're not going on that one. Blocked by Montero. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Breaking ball as this runs in. Full count. Step out of the we got Wolverine on deck. It's been a while since we've been on base when he hit. Represents the possible go-ahead run here. Waits in the on-deck circle. 
Has a look now the pitch. And he lays off there, ball four. Hey, he walks him. What a big mistake by the pitcher. You should have challenged Moss. Well, it's obvious he wanted absolutely no part of the three or four hole hitters. But he's got to focus here because this guy in the five hole is just as dangerous. Come on, Wolverine. Eaton will be Yay, Moss is out of the game. Number two. Eaton pinch running. Eaton. I would think after this, they'll probably put Belt in at first to play first. Looking to make something happen here with two on and nobody out. Well, early in the count, expect him to look for a ball to drive. If he gets two strikes against him, he'll need to change his plan and focus on moving the runners up. This game is too close to get greedy. Come on, Wolverine! It is all you. Come on, get us our. What would this be? Throw over to Shit. First. Just keep it <laughs> 97th win, I think, if we now win this. In the bullpen as their closer Runners on the corners. Top of the eighth, no outs. And he lays off there, 1 0. This is a critical point right here. Things are in danger of getting away from him a little, so we'll see how he deals with it. Well, maybe dangerous Wolverine's with well, him. Why are you scared about standing. Moss? I mean, I guess Runners I can understand first, why they might send out. Moss. He's not exactly great at stealing. That Up around the letters with that one for ball two. Boy, he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys. No, I like that. Give Moss. Or I'm sorry, Crawford. That strike zone. <laughs> I didn't mean to insult right Crawford. Right Give Crawford a hitter's count right there. Give him something to crush. Two up pitch now to Crawford. Swing and a miss. Might have got a piece actually. It's two and one. He really was struggling. He needed that strike right there. It's been a while since he thrown one. That's just not the way he wanted to start this inning. Come on, Crawford. Here's the two-one. And this well, that's not going to help us. To the left not in the very play, least. So the count goes to two and two, two, two count. Matt, I like the last two pitches: the changeup and then the fastball. And he's late with the swing on the fastball right there. You got him in between right now. Full count. Damn. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. A swing here on the fastball. Oh, nope. We've been pretty blessed here on the Giants that every year Dick has been on the team, we've been in contention. The inside pitch starts cheating. Now you so often when you play this away, game, if, you like if you've played it yourself and made a character, that does not, very often that doesn't happen and with the Road to the Show character. Unfortunately, he strikes out. Come on, Crawford. Really important time for a strikeout there, guys. Tying run at first, so objective number one is straining him on base. And now with one out, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that run. Costello coming to the plate. Come on, Costello. Costello. He represents the go-ahead run. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. He broke out the slide step there, Danny. Yeah, he's clearly thinking about the steal right here. Didn't happen, but the cat-mouse game continues on. One out count. No delivery. Oh, 1-1 one, one count. Come on, dude, get hit. I'm going to come slap you in your face if you don't. I've already seen enough people fail. Oh, my voice is getting tired. That or I just hit super puberty. And he'll lay off the fastball down low. It's 2-1 now. Five runs, seven hits. And no errors on the giant ledger to this point. Swing and he popped him up. And oh, come on. That's not deep enough to go turn. on. Hirsch takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. As tempting as it would have been to try his arm, that would have been an easy way to get thrown out at home. Trots in from the bullpen. Here is oh, he's got the trots. Nasty. Buster Posey pinch hitting. We'll come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. You the man, Posey. Posey represents the go-ahead run. Runners on the corners, top of the eighth, two outs. We desperately need some runs here. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. That's all right. Give him a free ball. Give him a better count. Runners at the corners, two men out.
And he misses again, 2-0. All right, 2-0 count to Posey. You think they got to throw him something to hit now. Don't listen to that lady that said to shut him down. In the dirt and no, we're not going. It's not worth the risk. But Moss does advance to second. So the lead runner holds on, but the trailer will take second. And they might just walk Posey here, considering first is open and he's already got three balls. Got to find the strike zone. Here's the 3-0. A cold strike on the No, I guess corner. not. 3-1 really count. Like what he did right there. 2-0, he wasn't able to hit the spot he's shooting for. 3-0, he made a better pitch and now he sits 3-1. Let's see what he does here. Second Can and We see who's on deck. Away. Oh, I'm looking the wrong way. Who is that over there? I can't see the diamond things on his way. Swing and that's hit out of play up into the All right, level. full count. Here's the payoff pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Oh, no. that is disappointing. Got a whole lot of nothing out of that. Diamondbacks trying to ruin our chance to get 100 wins. What a bunch of jerkwads. Straight ahead. D-backs lead it 7-5. Your quads. <laughs> Harris pretty happy about the catch, and we lose to the Diamondbacks. Oh well, not the biggest thing in the world. That's save number 45 of the year. He's taken advantage of nearly every opportunity. Seven to five. Man, 45 saves in a year. Guys have a good year. Win on the heels of four home runs. Trevor Cahill. Well, that's why they won. They won or hit four home runs. Part of it too is that Posey didn't play. For most of the game, he was on the bench. Let's go see where the standings are. Fortunately, he lost that. Chuck Dick had a rough game. 0 for 3, but he did walk once. I think we'll have most of the playoff picture come into focus by this point. There are three games left in the year. Our last series, which will begin, I think, next video... Because I think that's the next one. We'll be against the uh, Padres. In fact, we can look at the calendar just a moment. You can see only one series left against the Padres. Let's go look at the league. We have clinched the division. We are six games up on the Diamondbacks. Reds are two games up on the Cardinals. Braves have clinched their division. Five games up on the Nationals. If we go to the uh, National League Wild Card, right now it would be the Diamondbacks and the Cardinals. But... The Pirates are only a game back, so that could change within the last three games. In the American League, the Rays are two games up on the Red Sox. White Sox, two games up on the Indians. Oh, my Tigers have fallen this spot. Rangers, two and a half games up on the Mariners, but they have both clinched postseason spots. And you can see in the wild card, uh, the Mariners are guaranteed a playoff spot, and the Indians are trying to get up there with the A's. Interesting. Well, that's it for me. Next time we play the Padres, as we're coming to the end of the season, probably one or two more episodes of the regular season, and then playoffs. We're going to the playoffs, y'all. Thanks for hanging out, everybody.